Studying with the greatest name of Almighty Allah, who is the most merciful, gracious, beneficial, and the creator of all universe. So guys, today we are going to discuss something about uh, the differences, tort versus contract. Yesterday we did a study, the introduction to the tort. Now we are going to our the next topic, the the second topic of the content list name tort versus contract so differences tort versus contract firstly we will discuss about the tort letter contract the first difference is duty in the tort the duty is fixed by law in the tort the duty is fixed by law against the whole society but that's not same in contract in contract in the contract there is a duty fixed by the particular parties parties those which are doing the contract but in tort tort sim- simply a, uh, what we can say wrongful act so so the wrongful act can be against anyone so this is not fixed by law and this duty is not fixed by law then duty towards every person of the society in the tort the duty is against all the people in the society against all the people in the society that i will not do anything wrong against any person of the society tort is committed without the consent it's crystal clear because the tort is a wrongful act and when you are going to do the wrongful act then surely there will be no any consent from a party against you party which is in front of you or party against which you are going to do the wrongful act so there is no any concept or system of consent in the tort then the violation of right in rem violation right in rem is mostly used against the whole world means your right against the whole world so when you are committing a tort it means that you are doing the violation of right in rem means someone's right is consent to the whole world whole world you will understand the major difference of this in the coming sub topic contract then unliquidated damages compensation unliquidated means unspecified those which are not mentioned in this the damages are not mentioned that about how much damage you have suffered this is not mentioned and the compensation further is not mentioned because i said you before in the first lecture of introduction to the what we can say tort in that i said you that the compensation is given by the judge according to his discretion according to the judge not by yourself you can't say that i want that much compensation no that will be unliquidated unliquidated compensation from the judge side judge made law tort is a judge made law it's not a codified law it's not written or codified in any statement in any written document in any constitution it's just it's, just, it's judge made law then person injured may be entitled for such damages which he has not actually suffered there's a maxim latin maxim injuria sine damnum sine means without injuria means injury while the damnum means damages injuria sine damnum means you have suffered the injury though although there is no any damages means the injury without damages there is no any damage so in this the person is entitled for such damage those damages which even he hasn't suffered so what is di- what is what is difference between there is another term damnum sine injuria what's difference between injuria sine damnum and damnum sine injuria inshallah we will discuss it discuss these two maxims completely in the coming lectures now let's go to the contract contract according to the contract act of 1872 contract is defined as simply the legal agreement the lawful agreement is called contract there's no even even a single sign or clue of unlawfulness huh? an agreement which is lawful that's called contract in contract 
duty is fixed by the parties huh? in contract the duty is fixed by the party those parties which are under any contract which are under any lawful agreement they have any they have made any agreement for example uh, the 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 person named a is going to sell a car to b in the consideration of uh, 10 lakh rupees means means the b will pay him the 10 lakh rupees so this is a contract lawful agreement okay then duties toward a specific person now here the duties against a specific person while in the tort, tort there was the, there the duty was not against any specific person it was against rem it right in rem it is the whole society against whole the society so for example uh, the contract made by a and b the a is going to sell a car while the b is going to pay the uh, 10 lakh rupees so here the, the duty of a is against b and b is against a so there there are the specific people not the whole world and then the contract is based on the consent of parties contract is based on the consent of parties they both have the consent both a and b have the consent that they both have the consideration and consent that a will pay a will a will sell a, sell a car to b while the b will pay him 10 lakh rupees the violation of right in personam for example in a situation if in a situation a breaches the contract breaches some stipulations for example b pays the 10 lakh rupees to a while the a is not going to sell his car to b then this is called the breach of the contract so that breach is this that breach is called personam okay means here here the person here the a is breaching or violating the right in personam of b so the liquidated damages in this there are the specified damages Spe- specified which damages the damages that b b b didn't get any car from a so there there is the liquidated damages that b has not gotten uh, gotten any car from a which was which was conditioned or stipulated before so here the damages are liquidated It's codified law. This contract is a codified law, which is codified in Contract Act of 1872. This is the book. Then the party is only entitled for actual damages. Actual damage means the party can get the compensation just for those damages which he has suffered. So this is the main difference between what we can say tort and the contract. So guys here the topic ends tomorrow we will discuss about Mr tomorrow means in the coming next lecture lecture we will discuss about the second difference is the tort versus crime Thank you guys here the topic ends that is thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you khuda